Welcome everybody to the final round of the 2021 European Disc Golf Championship in beautiful Franz Ferdinand course in Konopiste, Czech Republic. It's been a very hot week here and we have seen very hot rounds. I'm joined here by the tournament director himself, Christoph Novak. How are you? Hello there everyone. I'm fine, glad it's already behind us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you must be very satisfied with the tournament. It was beautiful weather, great week. We had a total of 26 different countries represented and over 300 players. This was the biggest international disc golf event ever. Ever. And this is the trophy we are fighting for. We have Niklas Antila from Finland, current score with 34 under par. And right behind Niklas there is a Linus Carlson with 32 under. So it's basically a Finland against Sweden. Jona Heinanen, the new face in the lead card with 24 under. And a local favorite, Jakub Semerad with 23 under score. Local hero. Local hero. Yeah, we have hole one, the downhill hole. One of the few holes that you can actually find an OB and you can find it very easily. This is this was the third hardest hole of the round four. So we'll see how the players will attack this. But first, we have the Finnish champion against Swedish champion. So this is the, the very first time that we're going to see whether Niklas or Linus have the guts to get the title because they are pretty far away from the other. So there is like 10 to 8 strokes for the next ones. And here is Niklas with his drive. Looks all right. Yeah, he's playing relatively safe to the right side into the bushes. So he has a little bit outside the circle putt. And then we have Linus. Linus played amazing round yesterday, 16 under course record, and he's only two back, so this is a two minutes ra race at the moment. It looks like he has a putter in his hand. Mm -hmm. This looks, it looked a bit high at first, but then it dropped and it, yeah, it's parked almost, definitely in circle one. Very aggressive line, but he knew the disc and he is very close to the basket for the birdie. And Jon Heinen is a little bit more unknown player for the international level, but he is obviously very known nationally, so he has a great distance in his drives, and it will be great to see Jon on this card today. Throwing a putter, goes wide, right side, kind of a tickling those bushes, and actually landing pretty well. He's, he's putting for uphill, which is a good thing for this hole. Tell us about Kuba. Yeah, Kuba is he's from Hostachov, which is a pretty well-known course in the Czech Republic, and he's played for I don't know, maybe five years. And he won his first uh, like bigger event, I think, in 2017, and was basically beating everyone last year and uh, this year. It looked the same, and he's the highest-rated player in the Czech Republic with 1,011. Yeah, and he he has a putter, right? Yeah, I think this was a harp beaten. Yeah, it, it's so, and it's tracking right by the basket. Very good start for the local favorite. And you can hear the, all the cheers. I mean, there was hundreds of people cheering for him. So this was a very, I would say, emotional moment for many to see him on the lead card. So Niklas has a makeable putt. And he misses by a bit. But I mean, taking a par on the first hole is not bad. He definitely wanted that. And next, Jona. Ooh. Also missing the putt. A little bit nerves on the first hole. Yeah, probably the final round pressure. Yeah. Yeah. This is Linus. Nice. Cash is a nice birdie. It was Jona, actually. Oh. Yeah. This is Linus, and he has a chance to get within one stroke with this birdie, which he, acts, he makes it a great start for Swede. And now Jakub. Oh. Yeah, heartbreaking. I, I think that that was the most pressure he has ever felt <laughs> in a putt <laughs> for so sure. far. For sure. And Niklas taps for par. Yeah, the start what Linus really wanted. He wanted to have that birdie to get within one stroke. So we'll, we'll, we'll see on the hole two. This is a very exciting time at Disc Mania. 
What you see here is our new production facility where we are making our new Discmania originals for disc golfers around the world. Previously, production of Discmania originals were under the powers of others. That led us to a situation multiple times where we couldn't deliver what you wanted or needed. Well, that power is now in our own hands and we want to share that power with you. Currently, this machine is dedicated to run as many P2s as you and the disc golf community want. I promise you, it won't stop until the demand is fully met. Okay, we're back and this is hole two, uphill par four, 169 meters. What, what do we see here? Well, first you need to throw an, a hyzer and then you need to throw an anhyzer or a sidearm, maybe or a sidearm ro roller, as we saw. Yeah, I mean, this is a actually quite difficult hole. This was the fifth difficult hole on the course today. And uh, you need to have a pretty long drive in order to get into the position to birdie this hole. So let's see how these guys do. So Linus has the box. He's a long long thrower, so this shouldn't be any problem for him. And this is tracking perfectly in the middle of the fairway. You need this. You need to cut this corner in order to see the basket. Yeah, you don't want to end up inside the, the trees. And Niklas also choosing the kind of the tall hyzer line. You need to keep this hyzer line all the way in order to get enough distance and get it all the way to the left. And he's pretty much matching Linus' drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the more you get it to the left, the more it opens up. But also it's hard to get it to the left because you need to throw so high and so far. Yeah. And Jona also has the hyzer line. And you can see that Jona has the power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's not using a lot of run-up, but then when he, when he throws, you can hear it. You can hear the power. And also, I was very impressed with the power of Jakub. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. Uh a lot for a long time <laughs> by his power this was so high and still it made the corner yeah all the players are actually having a great position for birdie and actually <coughs> linus is a little bit behind the curve so he needs to go backhand and hyzer gets the law from the tree and he has a great position yeah beautiful and jakub is choosing the sidearm and this is probably for the skip, right? Yeah. Yeah, because there is a tree that has a really really low branches and you you need to get underneath. Yeah. That was well executed. He has a clear putt. And another sidearm coming up from Jona. He's going just inside that big tree, couple of skips and nicely done. All three players so far on the green. And Niklas didn't get the disc enough left, so he needs to go patent pending turnover. And that is a bit too high and hits the guardian tree. It's going to be outside the circle pot. So this is a four par, another pot from the knee outside the circle. And another another miss, so a little shaky start from Niklas. So Linus has a perfect opportunity to actually catch him. And another misfire from Jakub. Not not normal, right? Not not normal at all. Not normal at all. Jona takes the birdie. And this putt is for tie. So this would be actually the first time that Linus would tie the lead. So we're going to see a very exciting round. So stick around, share the video, and please subscribe to the Spin TV. Nice birdie for Linus. We have a tie ball game. Oh, yeah, it looks very interesting from the get-go. Yeah, and Jakub needs to hit this to get his confidence back, which he does for the par. Fortunately, those missed putts were for birdies, so he's not losing uh, 
Well, well he's actually losing some strokes, but he's not making bogeys and going the wrong direction. And Niklas also for par. We're heading to hole number three. Please, go. Oh, this is the one of the longest holes on the course, probably the longest one, par five. First, you need to get uh, your disc as far as possible and then to the right. Uh, players either use rollers or turnover shots, mostly, or, or sidearms. And then you need to go around this corner. And even though, even though you think you might be parked, you're probably 30 meters short for the eagle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you need just to get up and make a birdie putt. Yeah, we have seen a couple of eagles so far. Uh, Öyvind and Hakon, both from Norway. So yeah. Norwegian Vikings are getting some eagles on this hole. And this is a very typical play on this hole from the T. Linus with the roller, backhand roller. And this is going, I think it went, yeah, it went a little bit too right. So he, he ended up on those trees. Yeah, it clipped the corner and st something stopped it. Yeah. And Johanna is also going with the roller. I think this landed right what, how he wanted. And this is the distance that you can see from Jona. He actually went past the right side trees. And he's probably having a pretty good life from there, yeah, it's even to attack the green. Yeah, that's that's what you want. Maybe I think maybe he's too close to the forest line to run up. But I'm not sure. We'll see. And Niklas with the roller. And this looks very good also. Yeah. yeah, this is a beautiful shot and actually pretty far. So there is a good chance for him to go for that to lie. And Jakub, another roller looks like. Yeah. This that looks needs to stay up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Very quality shots all around. This is a lead card action. Oh yeah. This was actually uh, one of the most easier holes because of it's a par five. There is not really a lot of OB, only on the left side on the road. And that's kind of a way where you can't really go easily. Here's Linus. He's uh, going a little bit through that tree. He's about 100 meters from the basket. That's okay. That's a pretty okay place to be and get your birdie. Yona is thinking something, maybe he doesn't have the, yeah, like you said, there's a little trouble with his run-up, only a couple steps. I don't think this is going to be mined for him too much. We're going to see probably a flex shot. Oh, that Sorry. needs to go through the tree, hits the branch and goes to the left side. He's a little bit obstructed, but as you can see, we have lost a couple of trees on the corner, so it's a little bit easier to get up and down from there. Yeah, it was a no-go zone a few years ago. And Niklas has a perfect line. If he can hit this, this could be go all the way to the green, and it's flipping up nicely, so this is tracking to the target. Ooh. An absolute schmass. This is a 319 meter hole and he's pretty much within 19 meters so two 150 meter shots also a great line for Jakub a little bit low I would guess but we'll see another quality shot he's within probably close to circle to edge great shot from him and now you can see those two big giant tree trunks so stumps so basically few years ago this was nothing yeah this was like impossible like pitch out to the fairway and then try something <laughs> okay he hit the branch and still made it to the green and <laughs> very close to the basket so <clears throat> that's kind of a the birdie you want to have after the second shot didn't very go very well okay linus has a little bit uh he's gonna go like an anheuser approach right yeah. yeah this this approach is hard because the green slopes to the left but he made it work very yeah. nicely. His form is so smooth that it looks like effortless. Yeah. I mean, it's it looks very good. And this is for Eagle. Oh, oh he, he's laying up. Yeah. yeah. He's laying up. Smart birdie there. But I think Niklas is going. He needs to go for this. Yep. Oh, oh and just a hair low for Eagle. 
Well, that's a stress-free birdie, as Simon would say. And here's Jona for birdie. Nicely done. And shout out to Hawkon Queset, who actually made the only eagle of today. Oh yeah. On this hole, we didn't know how it was made, but eagle on this hole is an awesome score. Linus for the birdie. Jakub for the birdie as well. Yep. And so, so is Niklas. Yeah, after an eagle. We're going to see the Not celebration attempt. here. Check tradition. <laughs> Ring the chains. Okay, hole four. This has been a very difficult hole. Uh, it's actually the second most difficult hole on the course today because there is a lot of trouble you can hit. So first of all, you need to get through those trees, both left and right side. As you saw yesterday, Team Sweden end up on the way left side. And uh, then when you get to the green, it's obviously elevated and there are some trees around. So we'll see how it goes. Linus has the box. A this little a low. Yeah. yeah, a low release. And this will leave him a circle two putt which he will probably lay out. It would be the safe, but we'll see. He started great. Three birdies, three holes. He's gr cruising, and actually he birdied every hole on the back nine yesterday, so he has uh, 12 birdies in a row so far in the scorecard. Jonas' drive was a little, I would say, soft and fluffy. Ended up to the left. He went through the gap, so he's facing another circle two putt. Yeah, I'm surprised that Jona with his distance isn't trying the spike hyzer out. Yeah, we were discussing it with Simon earlier and he said that it's kind of out of the play with because of the trees has grown so okay. much. And Niklas doesn't like this. He missed the line by a hair and this is tracking to the OB and he get the mm. very favorable kick from that tree that could have been OB. We okay. don't know, but I mean it was close and he has a 15 meter putt uphill. So it's relatively safe putt to try so he ended up in a pretty good position after that miss angle and Jakub I think this is his uh, turnover driver and he hits the right side trees which leaves him a scrambling for this hole uh, luckily it wasn't that bad he didn't end up underneath the branches but he has an open look yeah and this is a layup you don't want to mess around you know on the fourth hole in the final round to do something funky here. Yeah, not with this green, definitely. And and same with Jona. Smartly play, lay up here. And I think Niklas has a chance to try. Yeah, he, he looks like he's going for it. Another miss. He has had those C2 putts three in the first four holes. Actually, yeah, actually four. Yeah, four for the eagle. Yeah, two, yeah, two, two for from the knee and one for the eagle. Yeah, right now, he's yeah. a little bit too far away to get those in. Yeah, definitely further than fifteen meters mm -hmm. for most. Yeah. Par frame looks like. Yeah. yeah, par frame on this hole is is not not bad. Okay, hole five. Tell us what you see here. Yeah, I see uh, two options. Uh, players either go the low route, which is you, some somebody throws a sidearm, somebody throws a roller, and some players also go the high sky and hyzer route, which gets to the right side of the trees in the middle and lands like 50 meters short. Then they just have a short up approach either from the right side with a backhand hyzer or from the left side with a sidearm skip or something like that. And Linus is aiming for a roller. We saw yesterday's round that he is actually going straight downhill and tries to cut the corner a little bit to have a wide open approach. And he made it perfectly yesterday. Yes. And this looks good also. This needs to turn over past this little forest. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is exactly what you want. There is nothing in between you and the basket that's the best kind of a look for the approach and Jona 
is definitely looking to the sky, so he's taking the shortcut. And this is impossible to film. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is uh, something that he's not happy with that. We need to see what happens. I think he actually ended up on the right side of this little forest. Yeah, I believe so. So it <clears throat> faded back too hard. It's a very finesse angle shot. And Niklas is trying to execute the same thing. Going high with the high speed driver, flex it out, get the distance. Oh, yeah. And this is a great shot. You can see this hay roll. That is uh, kind of the perfect shot area that you have a good chance to birdie. And what is Guba doing here? Yeah, the same. Looks like it. Yeah. High he's sky and hyzer. Yeah, he's taking a little bit wider route, and this is a very nice shot. Ooh, the perfect landing spot. Yeah, and the <laughs> perfect angle. I mean, yeah. he controlled that disc very well. So that will leave him approximately 60, 70 meter approach. And this is Joanna, like we, we said, it went all the way to the left, and this is a putter approach nicely to the green. He's in six meters. Yeah, there are some branches, but shouldn't be that big that of was a problem. A great shot. And now Linus, another controlled approach, and very well done. Yeah. And now we're going to see two two other angles to the green. So you can see, you can get a little bit closer from, from the shortcut, but there is a little more ob obstruction here. And yesterday... Niklas hit this same s shot and got the bad roll away. And again, I mean, not that bad, but I mean, <laughs> he doesn't get good breaks on this hole. No. <laughs> yeah, the green is very fast. It's mowed pretty low. So yeah. rolls are common. Yeah, and this is another option. So you can actually go either sidearm like Niklas did or go to the backhand and kind of a slide it in like Jak Jakub is doing. And this is a perfection. This is a bullseye hit. Uh, almost a bullseye hit, and he's looking for a tap in birdie. So this is Niklas for birdie, and actually stay in pace with Linus. This is a very important putt, and he makes it very nicely. Yeah, you can feel that the battle, and Linus matching the birdie. Yeah, these two guys on or are on their own level compared to the field mm -hmm. and this is where Jona went he so he went kind of a little bit inside that tree ah oh, and doesn't get it up enough frustrating par and Jakub I mean slow start couple of missed putts but now another birdie but still pretty close to the third place. Yeah, he, yeah. he can definitely get the third place today. We'll see what happens on the latter round. So, hole six. I would say a very beautiful par three. It's a sloping green from right to left, as you can see. There is a one big tree that is kind of the in the way if you especially go with the sidearm. But if you go a backhand straight shot, there is pretty much nothing. So you just need to have an angle and speed control of your disc. You can throw putter, mid-range, or a sidearm driver on this hole. Okay, Linus goes first. And this is a backhand straight shot for him. He has the mid-range disc. And he actually misses left. So that's going to fade out and he's going to be left way short and left. That's going to be a long outside the circle look for Linus. Do you know what's Niklas throwing here? This is a tactic. Okay. The razor, tactic. razor claw tactic. Straight shot, a little bit short, but very l nicely landed on the green. And this is a mid-range, I think. Yep. And that needs to come back. It's flexing. It's around circle's edge. Yeah, that's not bad. But you definitely want to hit the, make a green hit here. 
and we have Yona with his putter. This is a putter that he's been using all round and we're going to see a lot more. If you have a disc that you're very comfortable with, go with that. And that is exactly what he's doing. Look at this, this shot. So beautiful. Floaty putter right by the basket. Great, great shot. Okay, so we have Linus here for birdie. He's uh, outside the circle, so this is a this is a big one. And hits the cage. He wanted that, so that leaves a little bit opening for Niklas. We'll see. Jakub here for birdie. Ooh. Do you Very hear nice. that? Yeah, I I heard. I was on the other side of the park at the time, and I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> It was so great to see and hear all the cheers when he made made a good shot. And Niklas for birdie. Okay, now he is back with his putting routine. That that is a dead center birdie, and Niklas takes the lead by one on hole six. And this is for birdie. Nicely done, great drive for Joana. And par for Linus. Niklas has the lead now. Hole seven, uphill tunnel shot. There are some branches that you need to miss like around this area, and then you need to make sure that you have the drive high enough to clear those fences to land on this sloped green. This is kind of a hole in one or ace run hole. You can pretty much throw a high speed, even driver, just try to hit the gap and see where it lands. Niklas is throwing a driver here. Yeah, you can definitely go for it 100%. Yeah, this is tracking right by Ooh. the basket. <laughs> what a shot. It was a bullseye hit, but it skipped a little bit further. This is a, a great shot from Niklas. Yeah, there was some wind from the right, I believe. Yeah, it was only only day that there was some wind. And Jakub, oh. oh, this is turning too much right. Well. He hits those trees on probably, he's probably 20, 25 meters. So he's scrambling for the par. A putter again? No way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is 93 meters uphill. He needs to throw a higher shot, but look at this. What? Two-step run-up, <laughs> putter, bullseye. Amazing. Okay. Okay, Linus is one back. Niklas is on the green. This is a must-make throw. I like, I love when there is a competition like this, and especially with the international level. Yeah, it's so tight. And look at the shot. He is matching, or actually bettering, <laughs> <laughs> Niklas' shot. Those blue discs are the lead, lead guys. Great shot from Linus. And you can't see, if you look at those guys playing, you don't see that they're playing in the final round of the European Championship. They're just playing yeah. disc golf. Okay, this is a tricky shot for Jakub. He needs to go around the trees, and he hits the branch. And okay, it's still a putt but it's an uphill putt around circle's edge. And this is for par. You can see the elevation. Oh what? no. Chain out and a roll away. No That's way. a heartbreak. Well, thank you. So the you. banners actually helped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they might also help you, but I mean, <laughs> tough break for him. Now he's in 15 meters. Uh, that was a valiant run. He has to take a double bogey five on this hole for making this. Yes, he makes it. Bad break. That was a very unlucky one. And Niklas clears for birdie as expected. And the battle for the win continues. Yes. Well, Those guys are pretty much outplaying the other field every round. Yeah. So they are slowly getting their strokes and strokes ahead of others so they are 10 clear for the next ones yeah <laughs> okay moving on hole eight this is the third 
like the easier par threes in a row. And this is actually the shortest and also the flat hole, so you can pretty much get to the basket in any way, any disc possible. This is the straight route that we have seen Linus going, but for example, Niklas is going to choose the sidearm skip shot that he has been playing all week. Yeah, this, this hole definitely offers a few options to go. Yeah, and for the skip shot here, you want to have a wide rim driver in order to get the distance skip to the right. He doesn't like it maybe a little bit too early. Yeah, he was actually afraid to go OB right. Mm -hmm. He's still around the circle's edge, and now we can see this putter again. Is oh. Jonah playing a one disc round or something? Looks like, and he actually chooses to go right side of that big tree, which needs to be a low, low, low shot. And with the putter, you don't get really much air. Mm -hmm. You need to get more air with the putter shot, so he was kind of a making the hardest decision. Linus is going this like a turnover putter shot that he has been hitting very well, and he gets through the branches and he's bullseye. He hit those branches and had a good break there, and he's right under the basket. So now the pressure is at Niklas' side. Oh, yeah. And Jakub... We've seen him doing this earlier sidearm skip shot. A little bit... Oh, you can see the wind now yeah. reacting the disc. And that was actually a little bit far. Inside the circle, though. So, makeable putt for him. Yeah, lift by the wind and 10 meters long. So, Niklas is actually outside. Just a little bit outside. So, this is important one. He has been missing some putts today to the left side, and this is leaving Linus an opportunity to catch him. And Jakub... Was, was it a headwind wind? putt? Yeah, I think yeah. there was wind, yeah. You can see the flag is now moving considerably, so this was actually the part, a nice comebacker from Jakub, this was actually the part of the round that we actually start feeling the wind. Especially mm -hmm. on the next hole, we can see it will affect the discs more. And a nice birdie for Jona. He's five down, so he, he's, doing, he's doing good on this round. And Niklas for par. Important. And now Linus actually tying the game. Only ten holes to go. Yeah, with a tap in. Yeah. We have one more hole on the front nine left. Hole nine, we have this giant downhill hole, par four. This was actually hole number one, the very first tournament, right? Yeah, that is true, I believe. Yeah, we, we had the course layout a little bit different because this was the opening hole, which is actually a beautiful opening hole. You, you can see here that we are flying down the fairway. It's a wide fairway, but you need to have a position to have a second shot into the green. So we will see the players choosing kind of the sloping hyzer around the corner and Jona has the box mm -hmm. and Jona is obviously known for his distance by now mm -hmm. throwing the putter uphill 100 meters parking the hole and it will be interesting to see if he's gonna rip this or he's gonna lay up on the okay he's going a very kind of a steep hyzer but still with the power it's clearly making the and uh, what a skip oh yeah so that is a that is a pure distance. Yeah, it, this opens up a hyzer approach to the green. Yeah, and that is something good. that you want to have when it's a little bit more windy. The wind has picked up a little bit, 
So you can see players kind of attesting the wind. And you don't really feel or see the wind here from this angle. And you can see that the wind is uh, reacting the disc a little bit. And Linus is clearing the corner. So he's in a good position for the second shot. Yeah, you can see some hay bales on the on the fairway in the landing zone, so you must take those into account as well. And the angle of this shot is that you're not going to see where your disc is landing. And I think Niklas, I mean, it's carrying pretty well, but that was a pretty wide, so he definitely didn't want to hit the corner, but you can see that if you go that wide hyzer, it's going to leave you a longer second shot. Yeah, uh, all the players actually threw considerably more hyzer than earlier days, and I think that's because of the wind. They didn't want to risk the the angle to the wind because mm. if you turn over this shot and you go to the right side, which that is basically a no-go zone. Yeah, you have nothing over there. And now we are facing approximately 140. 30 meter approach shots. You can see the basket flag. Niklas is aiming. This is uh, tracking a little bit too left, but it's a neutral disc. Very good shot. I mean, if you throw that shot with the driver, you can definitely see the skip to the left. And yesterday, actually, this was the shot that Linus missed to the left yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit too high a little bit too much angle to the left, so we will see if he can correct that. This looks like it's left as well. Yeah, I, I think he made this mistake oh, yeah. yesterday, so he's far back, outside circle two, definitely not happy with this, because that was an opportunity to get right on the basket. And Jakub is so far down the fairway that he's blocked almost by that corner, and this is also going left, needs to stop. He's okay. on the green. Yep. Good shot. There is also OB behind. Yeah, all those spectators are actually standing on the OB, so you don't want to go past that. And a high shot from Joona. And this is a little, little short. I mean, it was a good line, and he's on circle two. So I think Linus is up first. Yes, he is, and you can see how, how long he has to go. And it was like a half try. It didn't really look like that he's going for it, and that was actually a different disc also, so it must have been a layup. And Jona wants this. And he gets it in. <laughs> Six down through nine holes. He, he He's playing very solidly. Great to see. And... Jakub having a 12 meter step putt. Ah, so these are the putts that he doesn't usually miss. Yeah, these are the putts he always makes, basically. So this is for par. Yeah. Nice correction there, and that's a very interesting looking step putt. Very effective. And this is Niklas for the lead. And he makes it in. We have seen over the last couple of holes that Niklas has been putting dead center, so he, he must feel the confidence. Linus needs to give up one stroke with the missed approach, and we are moving to the back nine. Thank you for watching. It was a pleasure to have you here on the front nine. We will see you on the back nine too. The heat is on. We have a Team Finland against Team Sweden, the Finnish champion versus the Swedish champion. We called it in Finland the Finn Kampen. Mm. Okay. So and then we also have a battle for the third place, which there are a lot of players. Yeah. So please join up on the back nine. Thank you for watching. See you soon. See you.